it's uh, IPC Apex Expo 2022 in San Diego. Um, I'm joined by Dave from Arch Systems. Thanks Thank for coming you. over. Um, it's great to actually be able to talk to people face to face again. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you just give me an overview of your business and then we can look at you know what's new kind of thing. Sure, yeah. sure, no problem. Yeah, it's been a last time, uh, long time since the last we spoke. I think three it was years, I think, three yeah. years or something yeah. like that. Isn't it crazy how things change? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, things have changed on my end too. I'm now with Arch Systems, yeah. and uh, Arch has been in business for about three or four years. Okay, um, this is our very first Apex though, where we've exhibited, which is which has been great. We uh, have a nice booth, and it's been very well received and what we do actually fits very well with what the theme of the show is okay um, we're, we're a company that thrives on data okay our our mission is to collect all of the data from manufacturing floors okay from all of the machines regardless of vendor type regardless of process that they're doing and we collect the data from the lines but also from the entire factory regardless of vendor right. And beyond the factory, the region, and we, we provide global data analysis based upon all of this data, okay? And it's very unique because we're the only company that's taken this approach to it. Right. And the reason why we're the first company to do it, do that is, honestly, it's, it's kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's been something that, as you know, we've been talking about in this industry for years now. Um, but we figured out a very efficient way to extract all of the information process it in such a way that there's no lag time or you're not waiting, watching that wheel spin yeah. or anything like that. We're getting instantaneous results on some very, very advanced algorithms, uh, utilizing you know things like AI and machine learning to really provide uh, operational improvements for our customers. They're saving millions of dollars a year wow. by, by yeah. using Arch. Fantastic. I mean, people's concerns you know, in the early days when everyone was talking about the connected factory and, you know, lights out factories, automation, uh, machine learning, AI, CFX, all the things that have actually come to fruition now. Everyone, you know, the actual end users' fears were always around the security of their data, mm -hmm. IP, all those sort of things. So how have you got over those hurdles? It, obviously, everybody brings that up. Um, and before I get into that, I, I do want to talk about some, something that I see in the field because of what you mentioned, that we've been talking about this type of thing for years. Um, the problem is we've been talking about things like this for years, and uh, there's, there haven't been many companies that have been very successful, uh, at least on providing very, very granular data uh, you know, across a wide operation. Okay, so there was a lot of people that were burned in doing that. Right. They were sold, you know, uh, an idea or a dream, yeah. but the reality was very far from that because the technology at the time wasn't ready for them. Okay, um, we've we've accomplished that goal and um, we're we're satisfying customer requirements. Now on the security uh, matter, we acknowledge that that is everybody's concern. That's our concern too. Okay, um, we do process data in the cloud. Okay, however, we do have very, very advanced security uh, measures in place um, because the data is so important to our manufacturing customers. And we're, whenever we do business with a brand new one, they, they want us to ensure that. And yeah. we, we go through a variety of you know, SOC 2 type audits and you know, various security protocols and how we would react in a situation. You know, are there backups of the data? How do we ensure that it's only you know, their data? Um, and part of our broker technology, which lives at the customer's location, um, is set up in such a way that data is allowed to come out of the factory, but there's nothing that's allowed to go back uh, in. Okay, it's a one-way connection yep. in, in that sense. So the factory is secure, the data is secure with Amazon AWS, you know, which is, uh, you know, has very, very yeah. secure uh, capabilities in that. It's not like the old days where you would set up a, um, a server somewhere else and then anybody can hack into that type, type of server, even if it is in a closet under a basement somewhere. But um, yeah. yeah, so we've, we've really found um, some very good ways to you know, accommodate those situations in a way that customers feel good about doing yeah. this. Yeah. Um, and in fact, it's, it's working so well that right now we're processing about 1.5 trillion messages per month wow. in our system yeah. across approximately 10 customers right. building you know millions of products a yeah. day so fantastic it's working it's interesting what you say actually because you know, 
the machine learning data, data is only as good as what you can extract from it, isn't it? You know, it's you like you say, you can have a vast amount of data, but you need to know what the, the right questions to ask. Correct. You know, you need you know the customer needs answers, but you need to ask formulate the question in the right way so that you can provide something that they can action. In, in a lot of ways, you know, our, our customers have felt exactly that way because there is so much data that's out there. And what's important? What isn't important? Where do I get my ROI quickest? How do I filter through all of this and process it in a way that, you know, as an engineer, on my very limited schedule, because I'm putting out fires worldwide, I'm doing all these things, how do I have the time to look at the data and get an instantaneous reaction of, there's where I need to focus my attention right now. That's something that Arch does very well. It, it completely cuts through that clutter, okay, while we're still processing all of the data. Um, in fact, one of the things that we do that is very, very unique is when we extract the data from the floor, one of the things that a lot of companies have fallen down on is they try to contextualize at that level, or they try to contextualize uh, very close to the line. That slows things down and expands the data. Yeah. So we do contextual contextualization, but we bring the data up into the cloud in its native format, and we store it that way. Right. Okay, okay yeah. that's what allows us to do a lot of these very advanced algorithms and AI ML to present those opportunities for improvement or efficiencies or reducing attrition or making sure that you have equipment in the right locations in the part of the world um, in a way that it's it, it just appears on their on their screen. So, yeah. and we're very we work very closely with our customers and we have a team of data scientists that are constantly going through this and we do that as a service to them too right. um, where we point things out and hey we noticed this this yeah. might be a problem what do you think you know that's that must be quite exciting it's a it's a, it's a great yeah. time great company I'm having a lot of fun that's good yeah I mean it's it, it's it is literally cutting edge because everything that we've been talking about for the last five ten years hinges on that doesn't it it does yeah 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 and um, and like I said earlier, there's there's been a lot of companies that have been trying to do this, both vendors, you know, that you'll see around the show, but also a lot of the OEMs, the manufacturers themselves, have invested a tremendous amount of time in this. Good example, um, Flex. You know, we all know Flex. Yep. We're installed at every Flex site worldwide, yeah. over 5,000 machines, all of their SMT machines. Um, before we started doing business with them, they spent years trying to do what we do. Um, through a lot of resources, big money, $30 million is what they yeah. spent on this. Yeah. And uh, ultimately, it made more sense to go with Arch, and we were able to get installed and, uh, and operational in an extremely short amount of time, 100% remotely. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because that kind of is the old-fashioned way of doing things, wasn't it? You know, the, the equipment manufacturers wanted... Their, their, you know, their equipment in everywhere, and they wanted everything to do with that equipment to be provided by them. Mm -hmm. right? Whereas it, that can't work in this way, can it? Because you need a se something separate, something that stands above that or yeah. beside that to handle the data and analyze it and be totally objective, which you can be. I guess. Yeah, in a lot of ways, that's the goal of CFX, right? And there's a lot of acceptance of CFX. Um, however, there are still a lot of old machines out there. And what we're seeing also is uh, the vendor software itself, um, while they have a CFX output, doesn't necessarily always output all of the data because it has to fit into the proper fields and the proper format within yeah. CFX. So, of course, we could connect to CFX, but we also connect to the vendor level software as well. That's what allows the very, very robust data right. that isn't used by an MES, isn't used through CFX. This is really where the golden nuggets right. are hidden. Yeah. Um, and what's important is being able to work on that degree of integration and tightness of, of data across multiple vendors at the same time, okay? Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a challenge for a lot of companies. And in fact, at first, a lot of the equipment vendors were they, they, they're like, what's Arch trying to do? Are they trying to sell, you know, I want to sell software That's too. Yeah. Are they trying to replace me? In no way. No. Um, we, we never try to replace the equipment yeah. vendor software. In, in fact, a lot of times we help them sell more software. Because right. yeah. that allows the customer to get very, very robust data. Yeah. So. Well, that 
yeah, it's exciting. That yeah, literally is the the, the bleeding edge of <laughs> it is, yeah. driving everything we, we've been talking about. So it's it's great to see that coming into fruition and see new companies bringing that. That's, I mean, I was going to say, how have you done this? But that's that that'd be a very long conversation. Sometimes <laughs> I don't think I could explain the, the, the very yeah. technical details. I'm not that type of guy. But at the company, I mean, we we're based in Palo Alto. We have some of the brightest minds right, in, in yeah. the industry there. We have people that, you know, work at Google, at Facebook, you know, that have lived in this AI ML world since the very beginning. Um, and our staff is growing exponentially. And I think that new energy, a new way of looking at things, but also the, you know, the, the market knowledge um, and the people that have worked in this in industry for a long time, it's a very nice balance where you bring the latest, greatest technology with a, a market understanding yeah. where it could actually be put to good use. Fantastic. Well, I hope the show is successful for you. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of people coming along. So yeah, It's yeah. been busy. Yeah. Good, yeah, good. So. Yeah. Well, it was great speaking to you again. Yeah. Um, hopefully it won't be three years again before we catch up. Let's do this up. next year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Thanks for sparing the time, Dave. Thanks a lot.